Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And today we're actually working on an embroidery project. So I have been working on Christmas presents for my friends and family. And you might have caught the video I did a couple weeks ago where I embroidered a picture frame inside an embroidery hoop for my dad. I really wanted to give him a photo of our trip to Alaska. We took a cruise to Alaska. I will link that entire playlist down below because we did all kinds of fabulous things, including take a helicopter ride to a glacier to go dog sledding. And I wanted to gift him one of the photos from that excursion. And so I embroidered an entire mountain uh, forest scene in a picture frame kind of style for that photo for his Christmas gift. And I thought that was a great present idea, especially for the men in your life who might be a little sentimental and like photos, but are a little harder to shop for. If dad wants something, he just goes and buys it. He does not leave present ideas. Like most dads, or maybe my dad's special, I don't know. He loves all handmade gifts. So I usually hand make his presents because he is very sentimental in that way. But since this was a gift specifically for him, I could not say it was for him and my stepmom. So instead I decided, well, I'll embroider her a separate one. Her daughter, my step uh, sister, got married last year. And so I wanted to embroider a picture frame for her, for one of the photos for my stepsister's wedding, using the um, wedding colors for the flowers and then put one of those pictures in the frame. So this is going to be a Christmas gift it could also easily be a wedding gift or an anniversary gift, whichever you're looking for. But I thought it was a really sweet way to um, showcase a wedding photo. You can really, you know, skew the colors, like I said, towards the wedding colors and showcase that picture. And it's a handmade gift. So nine times out of 10, the bride is really going to love that you took the time to make that. I may have to make one for my stepsister eventually, but for now, I'm going to use the same color greens as the greens I did for my dad's mountain theme for the leaves of the flowers and the wedding colors for the flowers themselves. And we are going to embroider a photo picture uh, frame for my stepmom. So let's go ahead and get started with most of my embroidery projects. I am going to pop into Cricut Design Space. I bought both of these, uh, patterns on Etsy and I'm just going to use my Cricut to dry it on my fabric and then we will start embroidering.
it's all finished. So I didn't film doing all of these in the pattern. She has them done with just a straight stitch. I decided to do a whipped back stitch the same as these leaves. I just like that stitch better. And then I topped them off with fringe knots, just like it says. So now we're going to use our heat gun to take all those pink lines from our pin that we didn't use or need out of the pattern. We did, I mean, we followed the pattern pretty close. I did change a few things. I changed the way these little petals were. So you can see under that one, there are quite a few pink lines we need to get rid of. And then in a few places, you can even see in between her pattern and her example photos of this stitch, she has changed some things as she stitched, just depending on how they kind of fit together. And then when you take the extra layer of using my Cricut, and my Cricut didn't get all of these pieces quite right and some of these leaves quite right, I went over them with my pen, how I wanted to stitch them. I mean, that's the whole point of a heat removable pen. So like right up here, all these pink lines you can see. Of course, there are washable pins. I've used those as well, but I prefer that this pen, this heat erasable pen, is has such a fine tip on it. I can get really thin lines, and I just like that I can literally erase lines with my heat gun, and I don't have to wait to put it in the washing machine or wash it in the sink or, you know, especially when it's that much, I'll typically toss it in the wash. So I'm going to put my needle catcher underneath and we're going to add our photo. Get it perfectly situated. I think that's perfect. So now we can add our a needle catcher and it will hold the photo in place while we are stitching the corners on. Let's start with this corner and we're just going to come up to the side, tack this corner in. Whoops. And the magnet just helps hold it in place without it being too hard. I do try to make it as symmetrical as possible, but I don't really like coming up through my stitches. I know some people don't mind. I don't like it. So I try to avoid that. There we go. So we are going to, I don't like how that top one pulled it down because I tried to avoid going through the flower. I have to go through the flower to get it to sit where I want it. And then we are going to use a brown thread for the bottom so that it just blends in a little. Here we thread this needle. Try to get it in a better spot. All right, so I 
put it just right through this little cluster. And then I did the same here at the bottom. So then we're going to come across and we're going to go from this opening. to this opening. And it's gonna be a much bigger one than the other side, but that's okay. It will hold it in place and it will blend in as well as a photo corner can blend in. I'll tie it off in the back. Of course, if they ever want to switch these pictures for another photo, which I guess you could do, like these frames were designed with these photos in mind. I used all the wedding colors for this frame, but you could switch it for another wedding photo. Um, then the top and bottom may not go, but it'd be easy enough to clip those couple threads out. You just have to take the backing off. Oh, it's so cute though. I love it with the picture. I'm going to uh, gather the back and put a felt backing on it. And if you didn't catch it, this is the one for my stepmom. The matchy one for my dad is from our Alaska trip. So I think they look really cute together. We'll leave the link to this video below. But that is it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and mail it away. I hope they like them. Either way, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.